Hey everyone, today we are going to be building a $500 computer with all new parts that will work very well for gaming in 2021 and beyond. With a $500 budget, it is possible that you would be better off looking at getting some components used either through Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. Although with a $500 budget, you can still get all new parts and build a very solid 1080p gaming desktop. For this $500 PC build, we chose an Intel Core i3-10100, a Gigabyte GTX 1650 Super Graphics Card, and 8GB of Team Group's Elite 2666 MHz memory. Now it should be noted that the H410 chipset limits Intel Core i3 and i5 processors to a maximum of 2666 MHz memory speed, and that in turn limits the i3 and i5 processors a bit in gaming performance. As we have set a $500 budget though, we opted to feature the i3-10100 in this build, rather than its main competitor, the Ryzen 3 3100, because the cost of the i3-10100 and 2666MHz memory is about $10 to $15 cheaper than the cost of the Ryzen 3 3100 and faster memory. Don't worry though, we will be benchmarking the system with both an i3-10100 paired with 2666MHz memory and a Ryzen 3 3100 paired with 3200MHz memory to give you an idea of what kind of performance gain that extra $10 to $15 will get you. This system also comes with an ADATA 240GB SSD, a 500W EVGA 80 plus bronze power supply, and a deep cool Matrix 30 micro ATX case. Now let's check out the build process and then we'll go through the benchmarks.
As you can see from the benchmarks, this system performs very well at 1080p resolution. So while you could hit the used market and potentially land a more powerful CPU-GPU combination, like for instance an i5-9400F and a GTX 1070 for a similar price, this system does perform admirably as is. And by opting for all new parts, you won't have to spend time hunting for deals or dealing with bad sellers or as an example, purchasing a used graphics card from a heavy smoker and having to clean layers of nasty dust and gunk off of it in order to get rid of the smell, that has happened to me. You can also see that if you do have an additional $10 to $15 to spend, the Ryzen 3 3100 and faster memory will give you a small bump of performance and it is worth exploring as an upgrade. Although for $10 to $15 more, you could also stick with the i3 10100 and get close to having enough to upgrade from the GTX 1650 Super to a GTX 1660. And really that's going to give you more in-game performance than a jump to the Ryzen 3 3100 and faster memory will. But all this is to say that you have quite a few options with the $500 budget and all of them are actually pretty good ones. The reality is that most people will stretch their budgets a bit anyways. And so while we've tried to stick to as close to a $500 budget as possible, for not that much more, there are some decent upgrades that can be made. If you are interested in building this PC as is, or a modified version of it, we've included links to the parts in the description below. Just note that those are affiliate links and we will receive a commission if you purchase anything after clicking on them. Obviously, we appreciate any support, but you can also just go directly to Amazon or Newegg or any other online retailer and find your parts that way as well. I should also add that computer component prices change and parts do go out of stock on an hourly basis. And so if some of the components listed below are no longer available or the prices change significantly on them, you can check out our corresponding guide on techguided.com, which we've linked to below for the most up-to-date part list for this build. But in any case, that does it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like our content and you haven't subscribed to our channel or given the video a thumbs up, please consider doing so. Thanks again and take care.